Alright guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we have yet another unboxing. But today it is Fat Fit Fun. This is the summer box for 2019. So if you all want to see what comes in this bad boy, then just keep on watching. <laughs> When we open it up, it comes like this. You get some flyers, magazines, and whatnot, so we'll get through that first. You get the FabFitFun magazine. It just goes over some of the products and different things that you get in your box. Talks about stuff. I don't know. I don't usually read them. And then you get a America's Number One Meal Kit $80 gift card. There is the Family, friends, sun, sea, and fab fit fun. This is like the, what is this? Gifting you $15 off your first order. Yeah. Anyways, let's get into what, why we're really here. All of the goodies. Okay, so we're going to start. I'm going to pull this out first. It says silicone wine glasses. What a pair! A set of two. So we'll open this up. This is what they look like. Those actually, I will use these out camping, me and my husband. Those are great. They feel nice. You don't need to worry about breaking them. You can throw them right into the camping box. Definitely going to be using these this summer. The next thing I see in here is a set I'm so excited for. It is the Sol de Janeiro. This is the Brazilian Foreplay Moisturizing Shower Gel Cream. And then we have the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. I love this cream. It smells amazing. It works so good. I've never tried this. So, if it smells like this does, yes, I will bathe. I will bathe in it. I really will. The next thing I see is by Living Proof. That is the Nourishing Styling Cream. I have a little version of this. This is the full size. I'm stoked to have this. And we just got another full size Living Proof thing in BoxyCharm. It was like the dry texture spray. So, Getting lots of this brand lately in boxes, and I'm not mad at it. I love this brand. Also for hair, we have some Invisi Bubble Hair Elastics. These actually work really well. I have used them many times. It's just this plastic thing, and it literally does not tangle in your hair. I can throw them in my kids' hair, do big messy buns, and just rip this bad boy out, and, and it doesn't pull. It's great. Next here I see it is by Grace and Stella. It is the Spray All Day Rose, Rose Spray Hydrating Rose Facial Spray. Let's open this up. That's a big bottle. That really is. That is a huge bottle. I'm not so much of a rose fan. I'm not going to spray this. I think I'm going to actually give this to my mom. Her birthday is coming up, so I'll probably set that aside for her. For her birthday. I have a, another spray here. This is by Kula. It has 30 SPF in it. It is the Makeup Setting Spray. I like Kula. That is a great brand. And you know what? I love setting sprays. Ooh, I really like this bottle. That's a glass bottle. It's blue and it's got like the frostedness to the bottle. That looks really nice. Let's see how it sprays. Ooh.
I really like the mister on that. It smells refreshing. Almost pepperminty, almost tea-like. It's nice. The next thing I see is an exfoliating foot mask. This, I think I'm going to give to my mother as well. It is by Wish. So smooths and softens intense hydration. Paraben free, sulfate free, phthalate free, D and T free, uh, cruelty free. Let's let's see what it is. Okay, so it just comes in a little package like this. I'm not going to pull the safety seal off or anything because, like I said, I'm gonna give that to my mom. I don't typically use things like that. Next up, I have this milk makeup holographic highlighting powder. I love milk makeup. Their Kush mascara is absolutely amazing. Just trying to get that out of the package here. This is what the package looks like. It's very simple, but very nice. You open it up. There is the highlighter. We'll give it a little swatch here. That looks pretty. It might be, well, no, you know what? It's p picking up more pink on camera than it is in real life. My lighting is not giving a true color, but that is really pretty. I will wear that. Um, now I have the Moroccan Sun Travel Tea Palette by The Beauty Crop. This looks to be a face palette. I got a little bronzer from Ipsy by The Beauty Crop. Oh, the packaging is really nice. It has like a holographic kind of feel to the packaging. It has the shade names and everything on the back. If I can open it up. Inside you get a fair sized mirror and then you get these shades here. They look really, really pretty. I have so many bronzers and stuff right now. I want to put this into a future giveaway. Although this blush shade right here is really freaking calling my name. That is like, looks like the perfect corally peachy kind of color. I'm almost tempted to dive into it just for that. And this one here looks like a cream bronzer. This looks like a cream highlighter. And then these are all powders here. I don't know. I think I'm, I'm not going to swatch it. I think I'm going to put that into a future giveaway. Last but not least, I'm pulling out this giant box. It is the XO Sienna Felt Message Board. So I will show you what this is. Okay, so when you open the box, you get all these little plastic things. You get numbers, letters, you get some emojis and symbols and shapes and whatnot. And then you get the board that you put it all on. As you can see, I spilt out Men's Beauty right there. You can hang it up and whatever else. So that is super cute. I will be placing that, I don't know, back here somewhere. I also got a mask. It was like a UV purple mask. That is upstairs in my shower though because I did kind of peek in this box and I seen the mask and I used it last night when I had my tub. So I will insert a picture of that mask right here. So yes, this was everything I got in my box. It is amazing. I absolutely love these subscription boxes and I love unboxing them with you guys. If you enjoy these videos, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. And if you want to be notified of any upcoming videos, you know you got to hit the bell. 
And I don't know. Let me know. What do you guys think of this red lipstick? I've been doing so many nude lipsticks lately and I had such a neutral light makeup on today that I wanted some boldness. So I went with this. This is from the ColourPop Villains Collection. I think, yeah, this one's in Cruella. Do you like it? Anyways, guys, I'm just rambling now and getting weird. So I'm going to end this video. And yes, until next time, I hope you all have a fabulous night.